The Sensex opened higher on Monday. Photohemant Mishra Mint Mumbai The benchmark BSE Sensex advanced and the NSE Nifty reclaimed the 9,900 mark in early trade on Monday on strong gains in IT, pharma and FMCG stocks. Positive global cues too influenced investor sentiment. Sectoral indices of IT, tech, power, realty, healthcare and banking rose. Stock markets were closed on Friday on the occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. The NSE Nifty recaptured the 9,900 mark. Brokers said persistent buying by domestic institutional investors in a firm trend at other Asian markets on fresh hopes Donald Trump will be able to push through market-friendly tax reforms buoyed the sentiment. Infosys, the country's second-largest software exporter, emerged as the top gainer among Sensex components. The stock gained after the company on Thursday named former CEO and Adar architect Nandan Nilagani as its new chairman. Other big gainers were Adani Ports, NTPC, Sun Pharma, ONGC, ICICI Bank, Cipla, Hindustan Unilever, LT, Lupin, HDFC Limited, Coal India and Hiro Motocorp. Japan's Nikkei was up 0.28%, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.47% in early trade. Shanghai Composite edged up 0.81%. The U.S. Dow Jones Industrial Average ended 0.14% higher on Friday. The rupee on Monday strengthened past 63 mark to hit near three-week high against the U.S. dollar, tracking gains in its Asian peers and local equity markets. Here are the latest updates. 10 a.m. BSE Sensex trades higher by 145.71 points, or 0.45%, to 31,737.82, while the Nifty 50 rises 45.30 points, or 0.46%, to 9,902.35. 9.50 a.m. Barrett Bealey Limited falls 8% to Rs. 1,129 after the company said its loss for the June quarter widened to Rs. 3.87 crore against Rs 2.15 crore a year ago, 9.40 a.m. Adani Enterprises Limited rises 6% to Rs 115.55. Adani Group plans to start work on its $16.5 billion Carmichael Coal project in Australia in October, Chairman Gautam Adani said, buoyed by the dismissal of appeals filed against the project by Australian activists. Other Adani Group companies were trading higher too. Adani Power Limited rose 4%, Adani Ports 1%, and Adani Transmission Limited 1.9%. 9.30 a.m. BSE Sensex trades higher by 116 points, or 0.37%, to 31,712.18, while the Nifty 50 rises 33.60 points, or 0.34%, to 9,890.65. 9.25 a.m. DLF Limited rises 1%, to Rs 187. 0.50 after, on Friday, DLF's order committee approved a transaction by which the promoters will sell their stake in its rental arm DLF Cyber City Developers Limited to Reco Diamond, an affiliate of GIC Real Estate, Singapore, for a gross value of Rs 11,900 crore. 9.20 AM Infosys Limited rises 4% to Rs 947 as Nandan Nilagani returns to the company after he was unanimously named by the board as its non-executive chairman in a widely anticipated move. The appointment, a significant victory for co-founder Enan Ariana Murphy in his fight against the board of Infosys, will soothe the nerves of the company's largest investors, who have been spooked by the events of the past week, during which Vishal Seeker stepped down as CEO. 9.15 a.m. Future Consumer Limited rises 4% to Rs 48.90, while Future Enterprises Limited is up 5.2% to Rs 46.05 after Future Supply Chain Solutions files a draft red herring prospectus for an initial part. Public Officer IPO with Markets Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India Asebi. Future Enterprises to sell 1.96 million shares, or about 5% stake in the unit via the offer. Investor Griffin Partners to sell 7.83 million shares, or 25% stake in FSCSL, according to the draft prospectus. 9.10 a.m. The rupee was trading at 64.88 a dollar, up 0.18% from its Thursday's close of 64.03. The home currency opened at 63.92 a dollar and touched a high of 63.87 a level last seen on 9.
August 9.07 a.m. The 10-year bond yield was at 6.531%, compared to its previous close of 6.538%. Bond yields and prices move in opposite directions. 9.05 a.m. Asian currencies were trading higher as dollar extended its decline after Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen dashed expectations on Friday that she would provide clues on monetary policy tightening. South Korean won was up 0.72%, Taiwan dollar 0.32%, Malaysian ringgit 0.17%, Japanese yen 0.17%, Philippines peso 0.11%, China offshore 0.08%, China renminbi 0.06%. However, Hong Kong dollar was down 0.06%. 9 a.m. U.S. stocks closed mostly higher Friday on new hopes for tax reform, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average noshing its first weekly gain in the last three weeks.